today we are packing up. We're getting ready to go onto the dirt road. We're gonna get, do some camping. Yeah, where not a lot of people know how to get to. It's on a dirt road out in the middle of nowhere. There's no cell phone signal. There's no Wi-Fi. There's no internet. There's just the outdoors and some water. We're gonna be camping on a relatively large lake. We're bringing a couple kayaks with us. Just in case we want to do a little fishing. Um, basic uh, camp setup. Uh, cannot drive in to the campsite. And this will be a hike in. Everything that you bring. So you pack relatively light. It's hard to pack relatively light with three teenage boys. Um, but as light as we can. And uh, weather is not calling for very to be very good. Calling for thunderstorms just about every day. We're taking off here in about an hour or so, and we'll see you soon while we're setting up camp. All right, good morning from Nicktowas Lake, Pine Point area. We got everything set up last night, not until about 8 39 o'clock. Uh, today has been an absolute torrential downpour since about 1 2 o'clock this morning. Uh, let's up to showers and back to downpours. Uh, the kids are over swimming because, hey, why not? If you're going to be wet, might as well swim and have fun. Dad, jump both ways. I'm a flash of you. <laughs> That is the view right now. Yeah, we just killed two weeks. I just killed two weeks. Yeah, well, okay. very much. It is right there. very, very right wet, there. very, very gray, but it is pretty warm out. It's about in the 70s right now. Until next time. Bye bye. All right. Alright, we're hiking back out to the truck to get another canopy. Uh, not really sure when this rain is going to let up. But I figured I would take you guys along on the hike. It is about a half, not, uh, half mile hike uh, one way. As I was saying yesterday, um, try to pack light if you're coming here. We did not. <laughs> um, we purchased a wagon to help bring stuff in. Unfortunately, the cooler broke the tires on the wagon. Um, so everything else was lugged in by hand. So, let's take a look at the trail. It's not a horrible trail, definitely not drivable. And they do not want ATVs on the in, in through here. Um, for obvious reasons, there's a lot of erosion with the land that has taken place over the years and they don't want more done. Um, than what's already been done. Pine Point's actually almost all gone. There isn't a lot left. Um, unfortunately, it has been washed away. So, there's the trail.
word to the wise. <clears throat> if you're going to plan an out in the middle of nowhere camping trip, if the weather says rain, don't go. Postpone. Unfortunately, I only have about two weeks off for vacation this summer. Uh, we had to make the best of what we had for time. Um, with both of us trying to adjust our schedules to meet each other's vacation needs and times. So, this is what we had. Um, all in all, it's not bad. We've already been swimming uh, a couple times this morning. Dog's gotten a bath. Um, I'm currently getting a shower. Because I'm coming out to get this canopy. So, I am here at the truck. I'm going to load up the canopy and uh, head back in. Do you have something to say? Do you miss your memory foam? Do you need a nap? River. Do you need a nap? She's been fooled into thinking that she's a normal dog, a normal breed, a normal species of the canine. She is laying on the ground without her memory foam and her air conditioner. She is slowly falling asleep. She can't keep her eyes. Wait a second, I think I smell raw chicken. rain stopped uh, we ended up having to move our whole campsite because the tents were getting blown over canopies got blown over one of them actually got broke but uh yeah i think it's time to do a little swimming Happy. <laughs> oh, Mama, I'm freezing. Yeah, that doesn't feel nice, does it? This is gonna be a one, two, three, go sort of business. Oh, I met the one, two, three, go part. It's gonna be a one, two, three. <laughs> I think I got him. What? <laughs> the time that you guys have slashed me is the equivalent of me going under. <laughs> She's off again. Dad! Shut it off. Day number three, vlog from the throne. This is the outhouse, but there is something missing, like a wall. Yeah, that's right. There are two outhouses here, um, out at Pine Point. This one happens to be uh, got clipped by a widow maker. Uh, luckily enough, it didn't make a widow uh, that I know of, anyways. There are other outhouses over there, still functional, and door is still operational. This one, not so much. Door doesn't work, and the wall is missing. But, the hole in the ground is still functional. So, uh, again, as I said, day number three, vlog from the throne. First nice day, uh, first time that we've seen sun since we've been here. Um, had uh, breakfast already, getting ready to have lunch a little bit. We've done a little swimming. Uh, got the kayaks brought up. And uh, I think the wife and I are going to go out, do a little kayaking and fishing later. Uh, they do have some brook trout in here. There are salmon in here, some bass. Uh, see, see if we can pull something up. But uh, 
Yeah, I'm not going to be on this too much today. I'm going to be enjoying some swimming, some time with the family. Um, I actually hung up my hammock today, so I might do a vlog from the hammock later on for something completely different. Now that vlogging from a throne is not different. Uh, well, until then, peace. That had to hurt. Oh, now she can move around. All right, today's the end of the day. Um, we got steaks cooking over the fire right now for dinner. Uh, kids are playing Uno at the table. Now I'm sitting in my hammock doing a closing vlog for the day. Um, did quite a bit of stuff. Gather some wood. <laughs> Gather some wood and uh, went kayaking for a little bit. Did a lot of swimming. I think some of the kids want to say good night. What day is this? Day two? Three? Day three? You guys want to say good night? Good night. Good night. Hey, good night. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this view until dinner's done. Hi. Day number four. Day number four. It's our last day out here. Uh, it turned out to be a spectacular day. Did take down the boys' tents. Um, got those hauled out to the truck. Um, condensed a bunch of things. So we'll uh, we'll do what the boys call a, have a slumber party in our tent tonight. So there'll be the five of us in there. So we don't have so much to take down in the morning. Forecast is calling for some rain tonight. Uh, should be done by the time we wake up in the morning. And pack up and get out of here. This is doofus. So, um, not going to spend a lot of time today. I am going to say that the, where we are camping, this is a uh, this is private land that is accessible for the public. It has been granted permission for everybody to be out here to use it. So clean your shit up when you're done. Um, if you cannot teach your kids respect um, and common courtesy to respect the land, then please don't send them out in the woods. Some of us enjoy it out here, and uh, people throwing beer bottles and leaving uh, trash all over the place is ridiculous and uncalled for. Day five, pack up day. Uh, this is it, we're gonna be heading home here couple hours. Most of the stuff's already packed up. Kids are finishing up breakfast right now. Sitting here listening to the loons off in the distance. Uh, Canadian geese decided to uh, join us yesterday, which is kicking around. Uh, so, beautiful sight. If you ever come to one of these places, please enjoy it. camping before this type of camping is definitely not what you want to start out with um, there's a haul in it takes a little bit of thought to be prepared for it there is no running water here um, you need to know how to at least have some basic skills for survival in order to do this but it's still fun um, you know what to do and what not to do so um, until next time, enjoy the outdoors, get your kids outside, enjoy the outdoors, life's not about video games.